Netherlands. No, We're actually good. next to have up someone who's, well, in Seattle, we're going to talk about strobing, or has strobing in it, but due to the health effects we were actually banned, there's got to be a lot of that in here that we had problems with health and safety, but hence the talk, because I don't know if any of you have heard that, but photo epilepsy, or photo epilepsy, seizures, or people sometimes call photosensitive. Now, it actually occurs due to repetitive flashing lights or sounds. Now, this little character here is called Pikachu. He's a Pokemon, and he's kind of a cross between a cat and an electric eel. And when he gets upset, angry, or annoyed with people, he seems to discharge electricity. Now, the reason he's up there is because this guy here is responsible for the largest amount in one go of photo epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you would believe that, would you? But in Japan, in the 1990s, and probably still so, Pokemon was the biggest thing going. And in uh, 1996, on the 16th of December, at 6.30, an episode called Porygon, which I'm sure, uh, Digital Warrior, was shown. At the time, 50% of all children in Japan between the ages of 5 and 16 were watching this show. Now, at 6.51, for some unknown reason, it's probably clear in the cartoon, Pikachu set off some sort of lightning attack. Now, I've slowed this down uh, for reasons you're about to find out. At the same time, 12,000 children had photo epileptic seizures, <laughs> all the way up to full blown fits. Okay, 900 children were hospitalised. Now, if you think that's funny, it gets better. Well, it was such a massive story in Japan. They had to talk about the news. 12,000 children injured by a TV uh, program, 900 sent to hospital. So they talked about the news. Unfortunately, they kind of forgot what triggered. <laughs> <laughs> so at 9 o'clock, leading news, that clip was shown again. <laughs> now, not only a whole raft of children were sent into photo epilepsy seizures, but their parents were as well. <laughs>